Looking at the Suzuki GSX S125 and comparing some of the sensors in this, the first one I'm going to look at is the oxygen sensor because it's only got two wires. I was just curious what it was going to look like. So I connected up a scan tool to the back. This scan tool came with the plug that fits straight onto it. I didn't realize that it just uses OBD2. Otherwise I would have just bought the adapter. I have ordered an adapter so I can use it with my launch and get the graphs and look at things like that. So I've got one side of the lead connected to the battery negative. I was wearing one of those clamps that Steve Scott has on Simply Diagnostics, uh, but I've not got one yet. And the other side, it's two wires going into here. There's only two wires in this oxygen sensor. See right in there. So I was just curious how it works. So I'll, get, I'll put the ignition on and see what's going on. OBD is showing like it's lean here. 0 0.05. I don't know what that's seeing. Uh, maybe this. It's the same as this blue line. Uh, it's roughly around there. So that's about 300 millivolts. I think it's a bit like a, what we used to with the signal on an oxygen sensor on a car though. Uh, from it stays lean most of the time. And when I hold, it, hold the throttle open a little bit and keep it a constant throttle, constant RPM, it starts to switch more like we would see on a car. There, when I put the revs up, it went higher. When I lowered them, it went lower again. I'll see if I can go back to that. So that's a tick over again. See if I can catch you this where it went higher. Yeah. So at that point, when it went higher. So we're right about 1.1 volts. So it is a lot like a car, except it doesn't switch so much at idle. It just seems to, sp to run lean. So I don't know if it's going into open loop at idle. I'll have a look. must be an idle, it just goes into open loop. I'll see if I put the revs up if it goes into closed loop. Yeah, it's got to be cruising to go into closed loop. Yeah, as soon as it's an idle, it doesn't control... So that's interesting, it doesn't control the oxygen sensor or the fuel trim at idle, it's only when you're cruising. Now I'm going into the ignition coil, onto the primary side of it, going into the negative side of the coil. See we're going right up here to nearly 400 volts. And off again. 20 to 1 attenuator fitted on this one at the moment. I'm using the old Pico leads. I used to have the old Hantec leads but they were a lot harder plastic and I had trouble with false reading sometimes because they would break because I used them quite a lot. These ones are like silicon and they've lasted a lot better. I didn't replace them when I bought this so I'm still using the attenuator the old Hantec one and I'm just going into the menu and here you choose your probe 
attenuator 20 to 1 on there. I take it the leads have got built-in attenuators if you get the new ones. I don't know because I haven't bought one. But I should do. So the ignition waveform. I'll just give it a snap throttle. What do we see that changed there? Nothing really. You can see halfway across here where it burned, the spark is outside of the cylinder and the last half where it's inside. It's just when I snap the throttle you get a bit of turbulence. But nothing major. I'll keep going back. Well, time's much shorter as well. Less than five milliseconds of dwell time. But the burn time is always right about the same. The last thing I'm going to look at is this ABS sensor. Watch it, how it affects it on this pickup. The sensor comes out over here. It's where the plug connector is just behind that. I'm going direct to onto the battery. Negative. So I'm going to spin the wheel and see what happens here. To start with I've got one about battery voltage and the other one right at zero. Spinning the wheel. I'll stop the waveform. We'll go back a bit. See the twelve the one that's now twelve volts stayed the same the whole time. It's only the one on the ground side that's going up and down each time it passes one of those gaps in the ABS ring. So it's about quarter of a volt up to half a volt, that's the difference. That's all we see, going down to about a quarter of a volt, up to half a volt. So it's a bit like how some cars work, same sort of idea. I didn't get to the fuel injector because it was too awkward to get to, and I've got other stuff to do. I was just having a play whilst it was clean in the bike, uh, but I really need to build it up and get on with some other things now.